and here we are. I love how Rome really keeps the focus on the writing above all else. I mean, the UI really makes you want to just jump in and write. But before that, let's go over some of the basics. Every time you load up Rome, you'll be greeted by the Daily Notes page. Now, this is one of the five fundamentals that we'll dive into in the next video. But for now, just know that it'll automatically change at midnight. Now, to the left of the screen, you'll notice a little hamburger icon. If you hover over it, the left sidebar will pop up. Clicking it will make it sticky. And if you click it again, you can collapse it like before. Um, let's make it sticky for now in order to walk through the left sidebar. Now, this little carrot right here will show you all your graphs and you could always sign out. You could always go back to the graphs and settings, the Rome help page, and let's go ahead and close that for now. So you have the daily notes icon. Uh, so watch this. I'll scroll down to yesterday and if I click on daily notes, it'll pop me back to the daily note page for today. Graph overview, show you a nice, uh, cool way to see how your notes are connected. It's definitely not something that's polished or even very useful, but it is fun to play around with uh, once you get things going. All pages will give you a list of every page in your graph. You can play around with this later. Just be careful not to delete any pages. Uh, shortcuts. Uh, shortcuts will be starred pages for quick reference. Try not to star anything in the shared graph since this shows up for everyone. But it's nice for your own personal graph to quickly access pages you, you use often. Let's go ahead and collapse the left sidebar and move over to the icons on the top right corner. Let's go to the daily notes page first actually. And in the top right corner here you have, uh, see that green dot? That's important. And if you hover over it, you'll see the sync status of your graph. Uh, especially with large shared graphs, there tends to be some syncing issues. So before you close Rome, always make sure that this, this guy right here, it's green. If you have any doubts, just copy over the text you've written and open up another tab with your personal graph and paste things in there. I know it's frustrating, but we're literally pushing the frontiers of what Rome is capable of. Next to that is the search bar. You can search for a page, a date, a word or anything really. And to add a bit of foreshadowing, once you start building out your graphs, you can literally start, you can literally skip Googling things and just search your own. Now to the right of that, you have a little calendar, which is pretty useless, <laughs> I think, uh, but it's useful when you need to jump to tomorrow. You'll notice that once you do open a page outside of that infinitely scrolling daily notes page, um, you'll have these other icons that'll pop up. You have filter, open a graph, of this page in the sidebar and you have add pages to shortcuts. Then you've got these little three dots here. Let's take a look. Clicking on it, the first thing you can do is open the right sidebar. We'll get into just how powerful that is in a later video. So let's just close that for now. Next, you can share link to this page and also open the user settings. Let's actually do that now. Here you can edit your display name and change some settings that only that will only be reflected on your view of the shared graph. You'll also notice the keyboard shortcuts next to it. If you prefer to avoid this screen, you could always just do control C, control B to get rid of the brackets and control C, control B to show the brackets. And how you do that is you hold control, you hit C, B, and then you hit C, B again to turn it on or off. If you scroll down and you do have reset to defaults, avoid clicking on that since it, since it might throw everyone's settings awry. Let's go ahead and get out of this. Uh, you have export, export all, import files, and the most important thing right here, check for updates. Now, Rome is constantly being updated, like almost every day. So make sure to get into the habit of checking for updates to keep your experience with the share graph as smooth as possible. Once you click it, It'll say either Rome is up to date or you'll have a little pop-up that says click here to update in like a little yellow box. Do that and what I like to do is even after I update it, you'll have the astrolabe and it'll show you that it's updating. I actually like to check it again just to make sure that it's up to date. So that's a quick look at the graph. Let's move on to the five fundamentals.